What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to manually clone your production website to your local server. And by having a local clone of your production website, you'll be able to test out new themes, plugins, custom code that you'll be adding to your website in a safe environment. And you'll see the impact that it has on the same type of setup that you have on your production website. Now there are plenty of plugins that have the same level of functionality and a lot of them are very easy to use. But sometimes you want to have a manual approach and that's what we're going to do in this video. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need to do is go to the back end of your website that you want to clone. We're going to go to plugins, we're going to click on add new. There are a couple of plugins that I want you to get. First one's going to be for your widgets. We're going to get this one right here, the widget importer and exporter plugin. We'll install that on our production website. We're not going to activate it yet because there's another plugin I want to get. It's called the customizer export and import plugin. We'll install that one as well. We'll activate it. And we'll also activate the widget importer and exporter plugin. And now what we could do is let's export our widget areas. We'll go over here to this export widgets. You could also find it over here in tools and widget importer and exporter. And that'll download a file with your widgets that you have on your production website. Now what we'll do is we'll go to appearance, customize. And because we installed that customizer export import plugin, we'll be able to export all of our customizations that we have on our site. So we'll go over here to export and import and click on export and that'll download a dat file of all your customizations. And then we'll go back to the dashboard and then in the tools section we'll go to export and this is for all of our content. So we could export the file there and it'll download an XML file. So we have three files here from our main website which is the XML file, the dat file, and the widget import export file. All right, so that's done. Now I'm assuming that you already have a local web server installed on your computer. The one I'm gonna be using is called MAMP. You could also use WAMP and ZAMP. So just make sure you fire up your local web server. We're gonna to need to download a fresh copy of WordPress. And then in your downloads folder, we'll go and extract that file. We'll take that extracted folder and rename it site clone just to keep it simple then we'll take that folder copy it and put it into our local web servers root folder and then we'll go back to our web browser and we're going to need to create a database for that so we'll go to tools and php my admin databases and we'll also name the database here site clone just to keep it simple click on create and now we have that database created go back here Go to My Websites, click on Site Clone, continue, and then let's go. Over here, we'll give it the database name that we created, Site Clone. Submit, run the install. Install, and log in. Now from here, what I want to do is I want to go to Posts, All Posts. I want to trash this one over here. Empty the trash. Go to plugins. Install plugins. Delete those. Go to pages. Trash that as well. Go to settings, permalinks, and save changes. All right, so now the next step is going to be important as well. Since you downloaded your widgets, some of your plugins will create widgetized areas. And before you upload your widgets and your XML file, it's going to be important that you also take a copy of your plugins that you're using on your production website and copy them over to your local clone copy of your website. Now the tool that I recommend is called FileZilla. It's a free and open source FTP program, file transfer protocol program. So you just download your entire website and just take your plugins and then copy it into your local clone version of your site. So do that, take a moment, do that first. So you see here, I copied the Soliloquy plugin and the Invera Gallery plugin because the widgets that my website's using requires these plugins to be installed. So I put them right there in the Site Clone WP Content folder, Plugins folder. So do that step before you upload your widgets and your XML file. Then go back to your site, go to Plugins, make sure you activate these and apply. And you're also going to need your themes. So we'll go back here and I'm going to bring in my theme that I'm using as well. So from here I'll go to WP-Content, Themes, 
and I'll paste my theme that I'm using. Again, do this before you upload any files. Then go back to your browser, go to Appearance, Themes, click on Activate, and now we're good to go. We have our theme that we're going to be using, and we have the plugins that we need to have installed in order for this to work properly. All right, so now we can start the process of importing our data. So we'll go back to the um, plugin section. We're going to need to install those two same plugins that we installed on our production website. So we'll go here, widgets. We're going to install this one again. And again, we'll go here and we'll install this one as well. Activate it. Activate that one as well. All right, so now we're going to start uploading those files that we downloaded. So we'll go over here to tools. We can go to import. We're going to install from WordPress. So we need the WordPress importer plugin. We'll run the importer. Choose the file. Choose that XML file. Then upload, file, and import. We're going to select our user. We'll download and import the file attachments. And then submit. Once it's done, you'll get the import WordPress all done. Have fun. So now you have that done. So now we can go over here to widget import and exporter. Because if you look over here in the front of our website, you're going to see it's not set up the way we want. It imported our images. It imported our content. But we still have a couple more steps. So we can go over here to uh, the tools. Widget import and exporter. We're going to import widgets. We have to choose the file first. We go to that WIE file. Open it. Then import. It's telling us we already have some widgets already created. So that's fine. And it did install the other widgets that we had on our production website. Now just make sure you go to your settings. Reading. Choose the same style of uh, front page layout that you had on your production site. And now let's go to appearance. Well first let's see how it looks on the front. All right, so we have almost everything done, right? But we still don't have the customizer options installed. So let's do that. Click on customize. Go to export import. We're going to choose a file there. We're going to get that dat file. Open it. Download and import image files. Import and done. Now we have our website locally cloned on our computer. Just the way it looks on our production website. You will just need to go over here to the menu section and set up your menus the way you need them. And you got that done. Just put in the social me menu there as well. I'm just going to put two links in there for now. But now you see that we have our site cloned in less than probably like 15 minutes in order to get this all done. Now this is a manual approach to getting it done. There are plugins that do this as well, but I just wanted to show you an alternative in order to get a cloned copy of your production website to your local web server. Now from here, you can make any changes you need. You can test out different plugins. You can test out different themes. You could even test out your custom code in a safe environment on your local computer without impacting your production website. Once you're done with all the tests, you can then just upload via FileZilla to your production website and you'll be good to go. Now this is a better way in order to test out themes, plugins, custom code, and to manage your website. It's very easy to do. It just requires you to download a couple of plugins and in less than about 15 minutes, you're good to go with a cloned copy. All right, hopefully you found this video helpful. I just wanted to show you the manual process of cloning your production website to your local web server. Again, the tools that I used is a local web server called MAMP. You could also use RAMP or ZAMP. I downloaded a fresh copy of WordPress. I used the uh, customizer export import plugin. And then I used the widgets importer exporter plugin. I downloaded an XML file of my content for my production website. And then I just set everything up locally. All right, hopefully you found the video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave your comments down below. Hit that notification icon so that way you'll be notified whenever I release a new video. And I will see you next time. Take care.